Feeling stupid currently, but how did I factor out x plus 2 in the numerator and where did the 9 go? Okay, let's take a look. Here we are going to rationalize the numerator and then later on we will see the x plus 2 will be gone. So, this kind of question is usually done in pre-calc or in the beginning of calc 1 where you have to do limits or derivatives. And don't feel stupid because a lot of students struggle with this kind of algebra work. But don't worry, let me take care of this right here for you. First, when we see square root, one strategy is to multiply the top and bottom by its conjugate. So, we are going to multiply by 3, and you change the minus to a plus, and then the second part stays the same. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. And the reason behind the conjugate is because of the following. When we have a minus b, this is actually from the difference of two squares, and if my marker works, I'll be happy. Start working now. And then times a plus b, there. This right here is equal to a squared minus b squared. Right? If you look at it from here to here, it's a product formula. But if you look at it backwards, it's a factoring formula. But the idea is the difference of two squares. So, if you look at the top, this is the a, and then this is the b. Yeah? So, multiply all the top, we get 3 squared. Let me write it down like this. And then minus the second thing squared. So, square root of 6x plus 21 squared. For the bottom, don't multiply the out. Just leave it as how it is. That's how it usually works. So let's just write it down. Now, have a look. This right here is, of course, 9. And then we have the minus. Put on in red. Now, square root and square, they cancel. So no more square root. But we still have this right here, right? It's being subtracted from 9. So make sure we put parentheses for the 6x plus 21. And then the bottom stays the same. Okay, do the algebra on the top. So distribute. We will get 9, and that will be a minus 6x, and then minus 21. Now, 9 minus 21. That is, let me write down that first. That's negative 6x. And my, minus 21 is minus 12. And then over the same denominator. So let's write it down one more time. Uh, this is like my workout of the day. You just keep writing it. Okay, continue. Now, on the top, can we factor it? Yes, we can factor out negative 6. So if we factor out negative 6, negative 6x six divided by negative 6, we get plus dx. Negative 12 divided by negative 6, we get plus 2. Aha! And then, write that down one more time. So x plus 2, 3 plus square root of 6x plus 21. And then, as you can see, the x plus 2, x plus 2 cancel. So finally, we just have negative 6 over, and we have 3 plus square root of 6x plus 21. Okay? Alright, so that's pretty much the main algebra work. And if you're doing limits for, um, if you're doing limits, usually it will be with limit as x approaching negative 2. Then you will just put negative 2 for the final result right here. Plug in here, and then work that out. In the beginning, if you put negative 2 to the top and bottom with the x, we will get 0 over 0. That's why we do all this, so we can cancel out the x plus 2, which that costs the 0 over 0. But I don't know if you are doing limits or not, so let me erase this. That's it.